All right, so here we go. Welcome to a new YouTube series. I thought that's a hostel. Uh, no, it's, it says hotel. <laughs> can, it, can it be a hostel? <laughs> no. They could just be misspelled. <laughs> it should, I feel like it should be called the No-Tell uh, Motel. The No-Tell? The No-Tell Motel. <laughs> I like that even better. Oh my god, actually, that's a no, good no, idea. No, no, we can, we can we'll have get, an expensive we'll hotel and then a cheap motel, the No-Tell <laughs> Motel next door. <laughs> I like your get unit a, of measurement there on the road. Oh, yes, yes. Instead of Jeeps, it's dump trucks. Mm hmm Yeah, garbage trucks, because that's literally about... It's an yeah. army of them. This is... It represents the sense of humor that this park is going to cover. I have a pen. I have a island. Ah, oh. penis land. I mean pen island. I am because race car, and I am joined by four other awesome planet coaster creators uh you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourselves hey guys i'm idro you might know me from uh pro nation and otherwise from some team tk <laughs> stuff i do on the workshop and planet coaster this guy's a freaking wizard you're a wizard harry i'm a what i'm joshua I'm not so well known on the the Planko community. I only ever have worked on three things since the game has been out, and I'm still working on them. So yeah, all I'm known for is Fury Three Two Five. That's like the only accomplishment I've made. My name is Kevin Mango Tango. You might know me from I don't know maybe Bro Nation. I don't know. I'm not too popular there, but uh, yeah. I don't really post too much, to be fair, so that's just me. I don't really like to share my stuff. I just like to build. Um, but I'm excited to be here. A lot of cool names, a lot of really strong builders here, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm Pretzel. Um, I haven't built much in the game. Um, no, that's, that's a lie. <laughs> um, okay, let, let me just say that like I've got a lot of unfinished stuff. Um... So like I'm kind of like Josh in that sense. Um, I'm kind of at the moment my, my I would say my most current project would be like uh, Cyberpunk. I've been working on this big Cyberpunk build. Uh, I've been showing off a, f a few places at the minute. And uh, what else have I worked on? I've I'm, I've worked on a lot of blueprints as well. So I'm on the workshop quite often when I when when I when I finish stuff. So. So, but yeah, so um, this roadway here that you've got kind of a plan for. How oh, do we yeah, get on, me, on to yeah. the theme park road from the highway? Are we going to have like an exit? So and a I'm thinking, is the road just going to end in the water? Well, we can't really build out there, so. Uh, well, right now it's just a U-turn. Um, you could just make a tunnel. Probably like put like some kind of. What we could do? Yeah, <laughs> that's why I usually that, do. <laughs> that U-turn, we can have. Yeah, it, I mean, like this is all off-stage stuff, so. Um, Instead of having a, but I was kind of figuring like tunnels going into these mountains because that would make sense. Uh -uh. I could draw it on paper for and you. Eventually, do a. Uh... But like we, we. Yeah. Well, I mean, like this is the the like. Okay, yeah, we want to do this kind of stuff with this park uh -huh. um, as well. I've got a, I've got an interesting um, idea. I have to draw it on paper and show you. But uh, let's see. Put it up you know, on screen. Eventually, post. we'll. You know, and like eventually we'll like put like a hotel and like some, you know, make it actually look like it's in a, a real life setting. I'm, I'm um, And then you got the the that in the background. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Yeah. So I've I've started off. I did like some terrain paint to kind of get an idea for the uh, for the parking lot. So that way I could get a. Started with, with doing the terrain paint, right? And then threw in this awesome Giga Coaster. I don't know who built this. I don't know who did. Mm. It wasn't me. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, totally. Well, I mean, you sent over the the file for this lift hill, and it was 14,000 pieces. So trying to trying to align this thing was... was just absolutely insane. What's funny is um, you won't be able to find this anywhere else now because I have Thor I have Thanos everything except for the track. So 
So, but anyway, um, I wanted to get the Giga. Yeah, I wanted to get the Giga in because I wanted to get. Um, I wanted to build the entrance kind of like centered around this uh, this kind of Mako style turnaround or <laughs> second hill. It's insane. Um, yeah, I, it, this thing was a pain in my ass, man. It was kicking my ass for a little bit, but I, the shaping still could use a little bit of tweaking. But I mean, it's oh, it's yeah. not bad at all. I, um, I feel like the hill going then, into it is a bit steeper than what it should be. But going into yeah, it, because I, like uh, I feel like it would lose a lot of speed really quickly going into that. Well, I kind of wanted to because um, <laughs> because the the way the friction works in Planet Coaster is just not realistic at all uh, yeah. but um yeah so i wanted to build this entrance it's kind of kind of themed like it's a mashup of like carowinds and cedar point at the same time and um yeah it's pretty nice build, but it's also like new in a sense <laughs> yeah yeah it's all like that new like that orange kind of uh yeah. those orange buildings that are just very they're very utilitarian you know there's not like much to them as far as detail goes so but um and then this is kind of like um whoops if i click on it this is uh like went with like the gatekeeper style entrance um without the massive pillars to support a roller coaster element going over the we could uh, still do that with the, the park entrance we could but i kind of have an idea of it coming back around and we'll probably come around on the outside mm -hmm. here and then you've got this space here, and then you can sweep back underneath through here. Like it would still be cool uh, to have something going over that front. To meet gate. up with the brake run I'm just right looking here. At this like so. main entrance, you got like some TV screens that go across the, yeah. the top section. So are you, are you gonna yeah, yeah, those are the uh, those are the in game the in game billboards. If one of you guys wants is like exceptional with Photoshop. I mean, how many could, billboards across is that? Um, is it the that is, is it like the two meter ones. Which, which one is that? This, it is video wall panel two meter, and it's one, two, three, four. Because here's the issue with you the, can make uh, a continuous video. Six of Because here's the issue. Like. You could, but there's an issue with that, and I've noticed yeah. this with my other, with one of my other files. No, no um, facts given. If you, <laughs> if if you um if you. If you have a big park file and see when you, when you when you have like one long video in Premiere Pro and you cut it up into six sections, yes, they're the same video, but they're treated as different files, so the game treats it as such. So if the game starts to lag a little bit, it's gonna get your videos off sync. Oh, I'm totally fine with just a still image, yeah. just, just one across, just oh, for the sake of simplicity. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's, would, that's uh, I mean, okay. you know. I, we do have to conserve. We do have to be considerate as far as like conserving resources for this park. So you could yeah. probably have that's, Pretzel that, to you know, there's some really cool stuff for you. He's really good with Photoshop. Not yeah. so or at least if you're using TMTK, you like use stuff with low file sizes, and it'll help. Yeah, I mean, I can I can easily do something like that yeah. to um, um, make a lot of the uh, the ticket prices and the fast pass prices, or whatever. Mm -hmm. You want to come up with some like quirky names for it too. Okay. Uh -huh. I've got yeah, some fun actually, picks. I've got that. I've got some fun picks. Um, yeah, believe it or not, actually, I've got the uh, the no f the no facts given over here, and you know, I did put in some billboards for okay. specifically for those. So, so I'm 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 to assume this is a brand new Cedar Fair Park. Yes. Or Cedar Unfair Park. Yeah. <laughs> Cedar Unfair. Uh, d depending on uh on how you want to put it. Oh, one thing, um, Hydro, you're gonna like this. So. One of one of my yeah. favorite pieces that you've made, right? <laughs> I got in the guest services building here, and then like right by the entrance of the door, as you're walking in, you are reminded, "Don't be a dick." Don't be. A dick. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was. I thought that was a perfect spot for it, and then I have it over here on the lost and found too. So. I gotta give Mass Bandit yeah. a bit of uh, uh, shout out for bringing me to the idea of making that. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was Thanks, funny John. as hell. Thanks, I'm John. actually surprised they. I'm actually surprised they didn't like spam that all over No Name Landia. To be to be fair, oh. I think that was funny as hell. Uh, well, I, I would have been. Uh, so. Once said he, he, he would, but like I'm, I'm not mad. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, you know what? But I mean, for the most part, what's um, up? Would we want to get a boundary set up around where the parking lot is first, so we know how big the parking lot is, or just go ahead and make a parking lot and then do like some other parks do, and eventually to eat away at their parking lot? And add more space somewhere else. 
Uh, that's kind of what I got going on with the terrain paint here for now. Just kind of as a general idea. So. so yeah, I think um, it will maybe be a bit more yeah. organic if we don't like plan everything uh, too much out in the beginning. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. But I did, I did get a lot done. I like this um, midway in like the two and a half weeks yeah. that that I got started. It's. It's a good mashup. It's it's a good Cedar Fair or Cedar Point OCD um, is inspiration right here. So, so with what, the uh, with the with, <laughs> is it? with the chairlift on the supports. So at CP, are those supports like in planters, or are they just directly into the path beneath it? Um, most of them are in planters. So I mean, we can we can work that out okay. as we go along. Um, I kind of just wanted to get an overall layout so that way whoever takes the park next. Um, is uh you know has has some some guidance on what to do like i've got this kind of area like fledged out for like a gift shop and then we can start like midway buildings going along the side here um, the um i've we'll, we'll get to those when we come to them so i'd like to i'd like to i don't want to do i don't want to I don't want to throw like, yeah, here's our entire park's plans, you know, all in episode one, and leaves leaves out the, oh my god, what's going to happen in episode two? Well, tell you what, yeah. there has um, to be some suspense. Tell you what, yeah. we've got the Giga right there. I'd like to try yeah. my hand at finishing just, that. Yeah, by all means, go for it. And I kind of started with a little bit of like some custom supports just to kind of get it, um, yeah. get an idea what I do of like you know, the aesthetic about here, like so. Carowinds, for example, uh, with Fury is. When you walk in the park, the coaster flies underneath the path. I, that's like one of my favorite things. I, I would love to yeah. see something like that incorporated into the... I think we could probably fit... You know what? We might be able to fit in like a tunnel like right here, right by where security's at. That's a small we security area. Well, I mean like where the coaster passes under. It is. So like if there's a section on, like, on the return or whatever when it comes yeah. back and have it pass under. I think that would be really mm -hmm. neat. Hey, yeah. race car, I may be, yeah. if I take the file next and I work on our Giga Coaster, I may also do something else with the front gate and make some additions yeah. to Honestly, it. Honestly, yeah, I was going to say, if you want to like kind of mod this up. And I'm not going to Thanos it because I love your buildings. Yeah. Um, I like the layout of that. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm saying I'm not gonna like, be um, like a Mike as Sheets. far as like doing. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to be a Mike. Oh. I'm gonna... <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Oh, so we're just going <laughs> to. I love, love you, Mike. Oh. I didn't bring you guys on to throw everybody under the bus. God. <laughs> we all love you. We all love each other. It's oh. okay. Beep, beep. Mike, we love you. Yeah. yeah. Josh is driving the bus hardcore right now. He, he just threw that bitch in reverse and just backed <laughs> up is what he did. Um, it's but Mike's yeah, speed. I mean, if you want to kind of work on the transition from the actual entry plaza into the parking yeah. lot, yeah, that'd be perfect. Because I've got some ideas um, for then that'll... Like the, the, to get off the highway and to get into the parking lot, and I've got some ideas for that too, so... Okay, awesome. Yeah, yeah, you can take the park next. I'm really and good with, like, either, road layouts um, and stuff, so. Yeah, and then either Idro or Kevin can take the park after that. So. Okay. Thanks, guys. Sure. So, with there being five of us here, and we're and all from, all. like, damn near different different time zones. Yeah. Um, I can take the park not next. Not all of us. Yeah, not all of us might be able to make it for the recordings, but I wanted to get everybody here for the, for the pilot yeah. episode, so. Who's um, flying this bitch? And we did it. We're all here. Yeah. We have vacation in two weeks. So, two weeks, so, we so is this probably. station okay? Is this station like finished or just a, a, a general meh? This one, I mean, it can be it can be doctored up a little bit more, but I mean, it's you know. Do we want to same thing utilitarian? Do we do we want to add realism to the chairlift? I've never actually seen. I've only I've never actually seen the maintenance parts of a chairlift, so I don't know if, yeah, if no, the game neither. is accurate to that or not. Um, I definitely think these uh, these supports need to be yeah, need yeah. to be beefed up for sure. Oh yeah. So, yeah. But in terms of like and then, in the of station, of course, like the uh, the, me the mechanical oh, in, in, portions. How are those in terms of like realism? Uh, I'd say they're good-ish enough. Okay. Good enough for Planet Coaster. Philip was saying there's a really good <laughs> TMTK set for chairlift. Um, like yes. That we all we, we should probably yeah. Just he and I were that. talking about that. We, we may just. Oh, that's the one that has all the rotating like this, wheels. This would be and like such. what a. Yeah, I think it, maybe. So, w is this yeah. like a like a Von Roll kind of thing? Just not buckets. 
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it as these because I'm not really a big fan of the uh, the enclosed ones. Yeah, those are too Especially big. Especially if you know if it's, if this is gonna be in like a warmer uh, climate. Yeah. So, but here's something that here's what I wanted to get to. This is like where I put a lot of time into. Mm -hmm. Um, now, granted, the roller coaster and everything was a blueprint from a previous iteration of Penn Island, um, mm -hmm. but if you notice, in the game we can't we can't angle the launch up slightly like it is in real life on Top Doll Dragster. Yeah. So what I ended up having to do was uh, slope the terrain ever so gently. So here's where the entrance is going to be for the queue, and I never got around to it um, as far as getting that finished up. But I took this, uh, I took this track ride and pretty much made it as a ruler, uh -huh. and then I just kind of slid it over, and eventually just kind of worked it into it and uh, formed the terrain that way. Like that is so. hot. I love it. It's very clever, actually. Yeah. Because like you, you would never, you would never notice that the track is not wanna... angled. Yeah, like honestly, from like this angle, from like this angle, it looks like this is angled up. Yeah, you would never notice it. If, if I didn't tell you that this was sloped down. So, um, See, when you first showed me a of course, this of station it, has to be built, too. So. When you first showed me a picture of it, I thought the track was angled up. Yeah, I wish it was, to be honest. Because, I mean, it, it's it's angled up for a reason, though. Because, like, if in the event that, you know, Top Little Dragster or King to Cough, there's a rollback, you know, it's got, it's got some... It's, gravity can still pull it back to the uh, launch position to reset. So... Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you going with like a Roman so. theme on that one? Yeah. Um. Oh, shoot. I didn't even bother to mention that. Um. This is this is biggest dickus. Oh yes. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from Life of Brian. This is very appropriate. Yeah, it's from yeah from Monty Python and the Life of Brian. Hey, so is this going to be sponsored by Monty Python? Um. Are we going to have like sponsorship? I don't know. Six Flags. I don't know. This is this is supposed to be a Cedar Fair park, and Cedar Fair is a lot better to, than sponsoring rides like that. Oh, yeah. so. Do you plan on doing any yeah. like trigger effects so when the thing launches, the whole tower starts to slide up in sequence? Because I've I've actually done that before with this type of coaster. That would be cool. So um, like, honestly, that that wouldn't be that wouldn't be heavy on the resources. No. That would be actually pretty cool I can to do. That in for you. I have like. Oh, I threw in I threw in a little Easter egg inside the station too. Right side of life. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. <clears throat> you probably need to watch the movie. Yeah, I should. I think I got like ten minutes in and got. So in room. terms of theming. Oh no. Um. Oh my god. The first theming, ten minutes. So great. like, each ride is gonna be themed, or we're gonna do like certain themed like. So like for this ride, it, you're going for like some kind of Roman theme. Uh, is there going to be buildings around the around that that are also going to have similar theme into it, or like, is it, or is it just mainly? Um, I mean, yeah, you could like have a couple supporting supporting elements. Like if we did like a gift shop, like right here at the uh, at the corner where the exit comes out. Okay, if we wanted okay, to so, do something like that. Um, um, what about towards the end of the tower? He planned on just keeping all that in, empty with just like uh, trees. And I think stuff. the fair. I mean, it's it's like if you think of it like uh, Maverick and yeah. then. And you have Seal Vengeance that kind of ties in with the same theme, in, right? So like, those yeah. two rides. Mm. Yeah, where you got like your your very generic Western yeah, yeah, yeah. Frontier Town area. Yeah, I mean like I've. I'll have to I'll have to update the uh, the the spreadsheet as far as like what what ideas I have for the park, and then we can sit down and chat and yeah, I, I, brainstorm I a little the, more too. Because to be so. fair, Cedar Fairs isn't as like unthemed as Six Flags. Cedar Fairs are. It's really someone, not, to be nice. honest. Like they just Cedar Fair is really getting on their A game now. I yeah. think with finally bringing in some gen not yeah. really generic theming, but um, better thought process into their theming. I haven't really been to any other Cedar Fair parks other than Knotts, but I, I have to say Knotts is just like it's decent enough, you know, for theming. It's nothing that I would call magic or a Disneyland or anything, but it's definitely way better than Six Flags. To kind of go back and just <laughs> like this Main Street, I, w I would like to see like a bunch of like Main Street buildings, restaurants, and such like that, like thrown in here, would look really cool. Just to oh, spruce yeah. up this whole Main Street, oh, yeah, it's kind of sure. like the, well, the, the um, core of the park, I would say. Like it's where people will go to when they walk in, obviously, and then. Um, oh, the middle. This, this whole long path, path should be like some Main Street buildings, and then yeah. some rides. Yeah. This, this schlong path. The sh 
<laughs> this long path. Even the shape it goes like wider at the end. What if we call it Schlong yeah. Street? Schl the Schlong Street and instead of you know you South Long Street Schlong too. Yeah. And you abbreviate South. Yeah. South Long Street. Street. There we go. That's that Long Street. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yes. We just figured that one out. There we go. <laughs> but we better be writing that down yes. somewhere. Oh my god. I feel like that's we were funny. meant for this collaboration. So. <laughs> the chairlift could be called S yeah. S Long Street Lift. I don't know. No, I've actually I've actually called this one. Uh, the chairlift is actually called uh, the Mile High Club. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, just trying to throw in some kind of tongue-in-cheek stuff. You know, no facts given. I like how tidy and clean um, everything looks. It's not. It's it's really. I don't know. I, I the path and then the uh, the station right in the middle of it. It's not like this gap between all the queue and everything you know it just looks really yeah nicely actually you want to know what what my secret was i um it. no um i used the rough concrete roof and sank it into the ground okay. and it blends in fairly well because yeah, obviously even... you couldn't really tell much before before i said something yeah. and then um that looks nice right there and then too. also yeah, what I did to fill in the little gaps is I used a classic brick pillar one meter. This is a trick that Emacs Magnus taught me, and, and he's another really freaking beast at this game, too. So, I, I like, wish Tenko had, like, terrain. I can't, like, you can't even see where they're at. They blend in so well. I, so. I'm that guy that makes custom path covers for the entire park, so I, I have to, like, limit myself to not do that. Yeah. <laughs> I always hate the fact when you are, like... <laughs> working with a uh, slope path and you have to like there's only one little nook or little cranny that has to be covered and you just can't find a piece that covers mm -hmm. it nicely and <laughs> it's just aggravated to the max yeah. uh -huh. it's so awful yeah like i don't get why they can't just um uh, put in like a terrain paint that has the exact texture of paths like how how fucking hard is it to do that oh hey but anyway go back to the no facts given okay Going back. Are we going to have a Gremlin Carriage rental place? Uh, Gremlin Carriage rental place? Stro like, you mean rentals. like the... Look at that Yeah, scooter. yeah, it says rental center. Yeah, for your, for your Gremlins. <laughs> yeah, and then like you, you... Or your crotch goblins. For your Gremlins. Yeah. Yeah. Treat, for your and then crotch like you pull here. them out here like this... Yeah. So... Oh, okay. <laughs> Handicap scooter. Yeah, I, I got this off the workshop. Uh, <laughs> off the workshop. The I forgot who made these. <laughs> Yeah, the word shoop. I mean, oh, that's in that's there. that's in game oh, shapes. Yeah, that's this that's is all pretty in game well stuff. Done. I didn't even notice that was in yeah, game it's shapes. It's very well done. Dude, I see the lights now. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, I see it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it'd be really fun to to like on the rental on the rental sign, you know, for the scooters. It says uh, for the frail, not the whale. <laughs> you know, and then like you have like the prices for you know rented that's two jokes by the one. day. Yeah, yeah. And of course, fast pass, you know. And then I kind of tried to decorate it up with a little bit of like, uh, some, you know, that that like that novelty stuff that you see, um, and like in all your, you know, info sections. So we got, uh, actually, I believe you made these, didn't you? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did. Did. yeah. yeah. Uh, these are BNN awesome. Uh, Aren't those, those the nice. um, the bro those the bro down? Nice. Yeah, these are the bro down, uh, the yeah. bro down postcards. Like, here's mine actually. If I can zoom. Which stage you can when you need it. it? If it'll let me. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Oh, go down. That must have taken some time. Yeah. Well, yeah, I made like yeah, so a, I made a, a version one, which was like way overcomplicated, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it didn't work mm -hmm. out. And then I redid it in like a sort of simpler way, but it actually turned out better. So I yeah. feel, yeah. I feel like the it doesn't need to be overdone. Yeah, simple like, these is, look great. Sometimes simpler is better. Yeah, definitely. And I was like, um, it was I don't know how long ago I made, it, but like I have progressed in my in my 3D ability since then, <laughs> since then. Can we see this at oh, night? Of course, real quick? yeah. Does the sign glow? I I didn't do Don't anything as far as any lighting. Um, I'll just switch it from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. But yeah, the letters do light up light and up? the spine loads. Yeah, those yeah, are mine this... as well. Oh, my goodness, three yeah. slides. I don't know if it was you that said you could make glowing stuff with the maker, but I, know oh, I didn't you say could. that. No, don't don't yeah, throw yeah, me yeah, under yeah. the bus Somebody like that. I didn't yeah, say it's that. just a texture. 
I I I said I think. <laughs> you think okay. wrong. Yeah. That's those 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 look really yeah. nice though, dude. Those letters. Okay, this one. The, the, the I'm actually gonna download up, those. Actually, those yeah, look no, not nothing about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm working those on are, a cyberpunk theme, yeah, and really that's good. like straight up my alley right now. Mhm. Mm Doing those eye. Bro. <laughs> I would love to be able to get um, like lights that I could light up the tower for biggest dickest. Yeah. That weren't like ginormous, like the floodlight, the in-game floodlights. That that FAA light on top is that the one I made or is that in-game? Uh, I think honestly. Because I have one. I, I have one on the I workshop. Have. We have Let a little white firework that explodes quick. when you get to the top. Sh just shoots at the top. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, um, oh, it's in game. No, it's just a colorable area light and it plays every five seconds for two seconds. Oh, okay. Here. So, yeah, um, I think we should wrap it up here. Um, Josh, we'll, we'll give you the, <laughs> the, the park there wrap and. It up. Uh, <laughs> wrap it up. Wrap it before you tap there it, boys. So for Penn Island, I'm because race car. I'm Idro. And I'm Josh. Mango Pretzel. That's me. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Bye, See guys. you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>